Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have something super duper exciting for you today. I am so stinking excited. I've been waiting to do this for like the last month. We've been trying to make this happen. My friend Amber and I are doing a collaboration on a notoriously morbid collection and it is the Dolene Seath collection. It is, I hope I'm saying that right, the freaking beautiful shadows. I will be demoing the um, Unseely portion of the collection and she will be demoing the Seely portion. Um, and that includes four shadows and in my case a blush and hers was four shadows and I believe a highlighter. So please don't forget to check her video out because that is going to be awesome as well. I'm going to swatch my half of the collection for you guys and she'll be swatching her half as well as doing a demo herself. So I'll have her video linked at the end of this one so you guys can definitely check that out. Let's get into swatches of these gorgeous products right now and um, then we will go ahead and do our makeup and it'll be awesome. The first shade we're going to be talking about is called Use Your Magic and it is described on their website as a shamrock green with, gr with green and silver shimmer and that is exactly what it looks like to me. It doesn't have a ton of, it's not glitter bomb. Here it is swatched, just over dry skin. You can see how awesome that pigmentation is. It is ridiculous. So pretty. And this shade is called There Is No Honor. It does not look like a lot in the jar, right? But you're gonna see when it's swatched, it is freaking spectacular. This one is described as a slight gray with purple tone and lots of gold and pink shimmer, as well as green sparkle. I hope the camera picks up all that this is. <laughs> it's gotta be one of my favorites. It is so friggin' pretty. I'm trying to smear it out a little bit for you. Blend it out a little bit so you can really see. Do you see that green shift? Hopefully you can. It's, it's spectacular. There's, I can't really say much else about it. It's beautiful. It blends great. Love it. This next one is called Pure Passion and is described as a ruddy brown with gold, blue, and green shimmer. And it is also gorgeous and it has a really neat um, shift-like effect to it as well. And here it is swatched. Just spectacular. Come back out a little bit. Try and <laughs> it's so hard to capture. Do you see that sheen there? It is so difficult to capture. It's beautiful though. This one has got to be the most me out of the bunch. <laughs> it is called There Is No Honor. It's described as an eggplant purple with insane gold and green sparkle atop a slight red sheen. Um. This is one of those shades that you really have to put over a glitter glue or something like that to really get the full potential out of it, especially when it comes to all that sparkle. You're not going to get that um, unless you use a very tacky base or glitter glue, but I still love it. It is so freaking pretty and um, it's got a lot, a lot of shimmer in it. Swatched. Oh. <laughs> there you go. And that's just over dry skin. Hopefully you can see that intense glitter shimmer that's in there. It is it's spectacular. I have this in the outside portion of my crease and my lower lash line today. This is the last thing in the set. A um, blush called Dinishi. It's described as a warm gingery pink in a matte finish and I would agree with that. And there's a swatch for you guys. As you can see, it is not, um, hopefully you can see, it's not, a, first look at it, you think it might be like a mauve type shade, but it really isn't. It really is, um, as I said, a warm gingery pink, and it's super pigmented, so you have to use a very light hand when applying it. Um, so that is it for the swatches, guys. Stay tuned, and we will get into the eye look right now. Okay guys, so I already primed my eyes with my typical Urban Decay Primer Potion and Sin. Um, and I'm also going to go ahead and take a little bit of this. It's from Concrete Minerals. I don't know if you can see that there. 
It's really good um, for pigments to adhere to. It's just a flush toned um, base. It's a little bit stickier. Put that on as well. These colors are so seriously gorgeous. I, I am so happy right now. I haven't sat down with pigments in the longest time and it is making me really stinking happy. So, okay, all right. I'm gonna get over my giddiness here. The only colors I'm gonna use um, as far as eyeshadow goes are these four from Notoriously Morbid. And we are going to uh, match our eyes up. The first color I started with was There Is No Honor. And this is what it looks like. Absolutely just amazeballs gorgeous. Take that on a Sedona Lace EB15. It's just a fluffy blender. And just tap a little bit onto the tip of the brush. Don't need a lot at all. Just one thing that's super nice about these shadows is you need almost zero product. <laughs> so that is always good. I'm gonna just go ahead and throw in my crease and blend the shit out of it. <laughs> Not gonna worry about it falling anywhere or going anywhere it shouldn't because that can all be fixed later. Beautiful. Okay, the next shade I'm going to use is it's called Pure Passion, and this is what it looks like. Beautiful, beautiful. This one has a bit of a duo to it and is slightly deceptive. <laughs> I, uh, I'm aware that it's not going to work as, like, to brighten as an inner corner highlight, but I chose to use it there anyway, just because I want to, and this is, like, you know, the whole dark theme, so I'm going to place it right here. And bring it up above where we placed the first shadow. And this is just a flat shader brush. It really doesn't matter what you use. You can use a fluffier blending brush if you want to. It doesn't matter in the least. The more you blend this out, the more you're going to see that shift in color, which is really, really cool. So um, closer to here, I'm more patting it, and then as I get up into here, I'm going to go ahead and take a fluffy brush and blend it out. Okay, I'm going to take that and blend it over the first shade we laid down. And I don't know if you can see that crazy shift, but holy crap, beautiful. Just, yes, please. <laughs> So pretty, I don't know if you can see all that sheen and just beautiful shimmeriness going on. We are not doing a matte crease, that's for sure. Next color I'm going to use is called Use Your Magic, and it's green, obviously. And I'm just going to tap that all over the center of the lid. Probably going to have to go back in and uh, fix this up later, but that's quite alright. Back in with a flat brush into Pure Passion again and tap that right here where that blank space is and kind of blend it into that green. It's, it's so hard to say, but it's probably one of, I don't know which one's my favorite. <laughs> I can't choose. Don't make me choose. But the last shade in the set for eyeshadow is called Chaos Rains, and it is this blurple type of color with a ton of shimmer in it. Um, the shimmer is mostly green from what I can see. So this is an interesting one. It, the shimmer is very, very delicate. So if I'm, I'm going to use this in the outside portion of my eye, being fully aware that the glitter in it is going to fall all over my face and I'm fine with that. I am just using that um, more matte base color that's in here to deepen up this area. Um, but we're gonna go back to this later and do something really fun with it where you get to see all the awesome shimmer. So, just a Royal Atlantic brush. It says smudge around it. it. Looks like a pencil brush. Doesn't really matter. You're gonna dip that into the product and 
tap it in the outside corner and up into the outer part, part of my crease. It does not have to be perfect at all. So we're gonna go and blend, we're basically gonna blend all the glitter away, which is super sad, but that's okay because we'll see it later. The, uh, the base the glitter is in though is excellent. It blends super, super well. Um, which isn't something that's super typical, I guess, with indie shadows from my experience. So this is just a fluffier brush. Blend the edge of that into the green and blend the rest of it into the crease. You see how easy that was? It just darkened it up, didn't go patchy, no no problem at all whatsoever with that and I'm just going to take a little bit more of it do the same thing that's about right see there's a ton of that glitter fallout just going to clean that up a little bit I'm going to take um, a much smaller brush the same one I used for the outer view portion of my eye and dip back into that green after having wiped it off of course and just touch it up where it's faded a little bit and blend it into the corners um, on each side and in the middle. Next up um, we're going to start working on the lower lash line and I'm going to use an Urban Decay pencil here. This one is Mainline, which is just um, kind of a turquoise blue, uh, and it is matte. I'm going to take that all the way into the corner along my lower lash line. <laughs> you can see I was not precise with that at all, because it doesn't matter going to take a smudger brush and just smudge it out anyway so why bother getting it perfect right just smudge that out dragging it up into that uh, shadow on the outside And that is just going to be our base to put everything else over, which I am super stoked about. Before we get any further, I'm going to go ahead and throw on this uh, top liner. And this is Urban Decay's 24-7 uh, liquid liner in the shade Siren. Amber, uh, <laughs> she kind of influenced this decision. I watched her last video and she used, she, it was a different blue, but... It was so freaking pretty. I, I decided it was high time I got mine out because I haven't used it in a good minute. Alright, I'm going to just create your basic uh, basic wing and I'm going to bring it in uh, to a point here. For the point, I'm not going to be super precise about it because I'm going to go ahead and fix it later and it's nearly impossible to get it exact just using this, so. A lot of times it takes me a few attempts to get that right whenever I decide to do that, but whatever. Um, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna say because my nails are pointy, <laughs> just make a wipe over that and clean it up. Pointed Q-tip is also a great option if you don't have claws. So 
try to take the other one in just a little bit on this side so that they would match a little bit better. Okay. And now on to the lower lash line. This is where it gets a tiny bit tricky because as you can see here, I kind of did a bit of a double wing sort of deal. That really pretty color with all the glitter in it called Chaos Reigns. Um, it's going to fall all out all over again, but that's okay. Um, we're just going to take it and run it along that liner. What you're trying to achieve with that was to get it as dark as possible. The next brush I'm using is probably not conducive to anything, really. It is a no-name brush from Walgreens, and it really sucks as a smudger. <laughs> but it was cute, which is why I got it. And uh, but I used this brush on the other side, and it, it turned out all right. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, stick with what I did the first time, even though I do have uh, some better options, probably. Um, this is what the brush looks like. And I'm going to go into this uh, Lit Cosmetics Glitter Adhesive. This was the first time I used this today, and I think that it is awesome. It's pretty darn great. And I'm just sticking my brush into the bottle to get some, you know, good adhesive on the brush. <laughs> and then I am probably shouldn't be doing this. Probably should pour this in the cap first, guys, but I was not smart today. Um, I just stick the tip of it right in. Get about, uh, get about that much on there. Not a lot at all. And uh, we're going to go ahead and pat over all of this and we're going to create this uh, second wing. And you're going to want to pat going to want to pat instead of um, blend for this otherwise it's not going to work out too great but you guys are going to be able to see the awesomeness that is this glitter now hopefully. I didn't try to be uh, too precise with the point on that at all. Because we can fix it later. I'm going back into the uh, shadow with the same brush. I just dried it off. Um, and getting the shadow dry on my brush. And tapping over it once more. Going into the shadow dry and blending on the bottom part of it. A little bit. Alright, so I'm just going to take a makeup wipe and just make it look like that. <laughs> That's what I did the first time around. And one thing that I totally forgot to do was to blend out <laughs> my brow bone. Um, and that is the only shadow that I'm using that is not part of this set because it is just not possible and um, it's just a flesh toned matte shadow. You can use whatever you want. On my eyelashes. It's pretty usual. And uh, for mascara today, I'm using Too Faced Better Than Sex. It's what I use almost every single time I do my eye makeup. I to mention I'm using Perversion uh, by Urban Decay in the Waterline and Too Tight Line with as well. Should come as no surprise because that's what I use every single time um, I do any sort of smoky eye look. step is always just doing a little bit of this. Whatever glitter or pigment or whatever was left, that's why when you, whenever you're doing anything with loose pigments, I just think it's a whole lot smarter to um, do your eyes before your face. We can see all those beautiful colors the way they're meant to be seen because I think um, in person anyways, this turned out absolutely 
amazing. Um, so yeah, I will be right back. Okay guys, this is the finished look, um, almost. We have this blush left. It is called, I looked up how to pronounce this, hopefully I'm not doing it wrong. Doina she? I don't know. <laughs> that's, the, that's the best Irish I can do. I'm just gonna apply, apply it lightly to my cheeks. I haven't used it yet. This is um, a Royal Atlantical blush or powder brush, I think. It's not too dense, so hopefully this won't go on too crazy because it is extremely pigmented. I'm taking a little bit of that on my brush and just whacking it off <laughs> into the yonder. And uh, we'll see how it goes. Tiny bit was definitely more than enough for both of my cheeks as you can see that is pretty darn intense um, I'm actually gonna go in with a big powder brush and just kind of remove a little bit of it and blend it in better that's much better much better I like it though with a light hand <laughs> But that's good. That means you won't need that much product. Um, for contour, I'm just going to use Skeletina, which has been my go-to um, for a long time. It's from Glamour Doll Eyes. It's just a really light taupe color. I'm going to take this. This is a Hakuhodo Sephora collaboration brush deal. Like that I don't have to be precise with this at all. Typically I do contour first, but I want to show you guys the blush. So there we go. So in case you're curious, what is on my lips is um Arcane. And that is also from Notoriously Morbid. They have an entire range of um liquid to matte lipsticks that are really reasonably priced. I can't uh, I cannot remember off the top of my head what the price is on them. I think it's like $9. It's either $9 or $12. I'm not sure, but I'll post that right up here. Um, they're not the longest wearing. They're not comparable to um, the higher end brand liquid lipsticks. Um, they're a little bit thinner in consistency. There's a little bit of a variance in that um, they don't all perform exactly the same. But nonetheless, they're really freaking gorgeous. This is just a straight kind of purple color. I thought it went really well with this whole unsealy business we got going on right now and the dark fairiness of it all. I did want to show you guys these though because they're freaking awesome. I have one swatched on the back of my hand. I don't know if you can see it right there but it is basically a lipstick liquid lipstick or any lipstick for that matter topper that you can use um, and it totally transforms the color of the lipstick and you can use it as like a highlight in the middle you can use it all over your lips you can do it however you want and I'm gonna try a color that I haven't tried yet um, this one is siren and I think it's kind of like a blue-green sort of base to it they come dual ended um, price will be listed up here you get to pick two colors and they come in a dual ended thing with a doe foot applicator. Still putting it on the back of my hand because I don't want to dirty the applicator. There, you can see that, yeah? How freaking cool is that? That is so awesome, I don't even have the words for it. And I'm just going to put it all over because I feel like it. Lipstick went a little bit patchy on me in the middle. Um, they're not smudge proof or transfer proof or anything like that, although they don't smudge and transfer a ton. Um, but just just something to make note of. Has nothing to do with a specific collection for today, but 
I just thought I would show you because, you know, we're here talking about Notoriously Morbid and they have some really cool shit on their website. A ton of stuff. It's, it's an addiction. It's a problem. <laughs> Every time they get something new, I'm like, oh, give it all to me. So yeah, that's the completed look, guys, and I sure do hope you enjoyed this. Please don't forget to go check out Amber's video, which we linked right down here. She is doing the other half of this collection, um, the, the Sealy version, so, you know, bad fairy, good fairy, whatever. Um, it'll be really interesting. I, I can't wait to see her video um, showing the other half of this because I definitely got a lot more of the darker colors and she got a lot more of the light pastel ones. So don't forget to check her out because she's awesome and her YouTube is awesome. She's like the queen of pigments. So a like for her video below and subscribe to her channel as well because she's freaking phenomenal and super duper talented. So until next time, uh, that is it and I will see you guys later. Bye!